At their faces and the coaching staff of their team after the game was over and the clock had run down, I mean, it was they were like, like, what just happened, man? It's like they just woke up from a dream. But it, there, it, for them, it was a nightmare. <laughs> the chemistry that we had, uh, the belief, the, the confidence that we had in that locker room with 14 guys and everyone else doubting us, well, that was, that was something special. And I've yet to see it in sports. And I've been calling games for eight years, and I've been playing for a long time. I can't believe it, to tell you the truth right now. You know, uh, I been, you know, remember watching things like this happen on TV. And to be here and actually, you know, do it ourselves is just, you know, it's an unmatched feeling. I thought everything, my heart was going to drop. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. All I know is we up by two and we won. Villanova's national champs. Oh, my God. Can you believe that? It was just a sense of, of, of achievement. And I think every young player in the country should be able or have the opportunity to be able to relate to what these kids did. Uh, because that's athletics, that's growing up, that's life, that's success. And that's the difference between success and failure. I really and believe Everybody that ever watched college basketball can remember if they were alive because it was just the dominating upset story. When you're underdog by 20 points in a championship game, man, I mean, you know, nothing makes up more for that than, than actually winning the game.